It's story time! Today we have strawberry shortcake, meat cherry jam. Strawberry Shortcake and her friends were very excited. Their favorite superstar, Cherry Jam, was moving to Berry Bitty City. I can't wait to meet Cherry Jam, cried Lemon Meringue. I know all her songs by heart, exclaimed Plum Pudding. She's very talented, Raspberry Tort added. I have an idea, said Strawberry. Let's have a party at my cafe to welcome Cherry. Yes, said Orange Blossom and Blueberry Muffin. Strawberry and her friends spent the next day getting ready for the party. They put up decorations and baked tasty treats. At the party that night, the cafe was crowded. Everyone in Berry Bitty City wanted to meet Cherry Jam. When Cherry arrived, Strawberry and her friends introduced themselves. It's very nice to meet you, Strawberry told Cherry. We can't wait to hang out with you, exclaimed Plum. How sweet of you, Cherry replied. It, is it fun to be so famous, Orange asked Cherry. Do you love wearing all the costumes and makeup, added Lemon. Actually, said Cherry, I'm taking some time off from the spotlight. But why, cried Raspberry. Sometimes being famous can be very lonely, Cherry explained. I have lots of fans, but no true friends. I feel like no one knows the real me. Hmm, said Strawberry. I think we know just how to make you feel at home here in Berry Bitty City. Over the next few days, Strawberry and her friends took turns getting to know Cherry. Raspberry and Cherry traded fashion advice. They designed some outfits for Cherry's new life out of the spotlight. Cherry visited Lemon's hair salon. Lemon gave her a fabulous new look that was very different from the one Cherry wore when she was performing. Blueberry and Cherry shared fruit smoothies at Blueberry's bookstore. They talked about their favorite books and movies. Cherry went to Orange's store, where Orange helped Cherry shop for decorations for her, her new home. At Plum's studio, Plum and Cherry worked, out, worked on their dance moves. Finally, Strawberry and Cherry wrote and rehearsed a few new songs. Let's invite our friends over to hear us perform, said Strawberry, when they were finished. Great idea, Cherry added. Soon all the girls were rocking to the rhythms of Cherry and Strawberry's new tunes. Orange, Plum, and Raspberry grabbed instruments and joined in, while Lemon and Blueberry bopped to the beat. That was very good, exclaimed Cherry when they took a break. We sound fantastic, Orange said. And we owe it all to you, Cherry, said Raspberry. Now that we know the real you. You mean it? asked Cherry shyly. Yes, said Strawberry. You're a talented singer who's super sweet and very fun to be with. And an all-around fabulous friend, added Blueberry. Thank you, said Cherry. And I think that not only have I found the perfect pals... I found the perfect bandmates, too, said Cherry. Yes, exclaimed all of Cherry's new berry best friends. And that's the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed, and I also have, hope you have a very fun day. Bye-bye.